This week it's Action for Children Sunday and we celebrate the work of this charity. Action for Children protects and supports children and young people. It provides practical and emotional support, ensures their voices are heard and campaigns to bring lasting improvement to their lives. It's just coming to the end of its 150th anniversary year and it's been looking back to its roots in the work of Methodist minister Thomas Bowman Stevenson. The Methodist Church has been part of the work of this charity ever since its beginning and we continue to be involved in supporting it. Our worship this Sunday evening will explore their chosen theme for the year, Choose Childhood. For some children, childhood is not a choice. They face pressures and struggles that most people couldn't even begin to imagine. They have no one to depend on and are vulnerable to all sorts of abuse. It is right and proper for the Methodist Church to be involved in this work because it is a crying injustice that anyone, young or old, should have to face such deprivation. As a church, we stand for justice and we resist anything that diminishes or devalues any part of God's creation. In doing this, we are paying proper attention to Jesus' way of life. The Gospels tell the story of how people brought children to him so that he could bless them. His disciples tried to send them away. Jesus was too important to bother with children, they said. But Jesus rebuked the disciples, invited the children to come close and blessed them. It is to such as these that the kingdom of heaven belongs, he said. Why did Jesus say this? His society did not value the innocence of children in the way that ours does. Children were pushed to the margins, kept largely out of the way until they grew up and became valuable, productive adults. They were vulnerable to many diseases and the mortality rate among children was horrific. Yet, according to Jesus, these little ones, marginalised and without rights, belong to the kingdom of God. So it's right that we should support the work of Action for Children. Not just because they do such good work to lift children from fear and vulnerability into healing and restoration. Not just because their roots are deep in the Methodist Church. But also because this is what Jesus wants of us. To honour and care for those who are pushed to the margins of society because they also belong to the Kingdom of God. This week's prayer comes from the resources prepared for this year's Action for Children Sunday. Lord, we lift up the work of Action for Children. We think of all the families who come into contact with the charity and play, pray your blessing on them. We think of those struggling with their physical or mental health and pray your peace descends on them. Lord, Remove any barriers that may prevent people from reaching out. We thank you for the thousands of staff members and volunteers who serve children and families and pray that you would sustain them. Give them the energy and enthusiasm they need to lovingly support those in need. We thank you for the infrastructure that makes Action for Children's work possible. The buildings, the vehicles, the IT, all the variables that help them to reach and serve communities across the UK. We pray for the leadership and the trustees. May your wisdom and guidance be present as they map out the future of the charity. We pray for our wider society. We ask that your will be done from Westminster all the way down to our communities. We ask that lives led by love love modelled so perfectly by Christ, transform the world we live in. In the name of the King Jesus. Amen.